Welcome back to the Diabetic Diet Show. Today's show is glazed steaks with mushrooms and balsamic vinegar. I have shallots and some little potatoes. Now I've already washed the potatoes and the shallot. Please, please wash your fruits and vegetables. I read an article that says washing them either in vinegar and then water or at least water will remove up to 80% of any of the pesticides that are left on them and I guess the rest isn't going to hurt you any. Besides that, I have mushrooms and of course you don't wash mushrooms. If you see some dirt on them, you can use a paper towel and you can pat that off. Then I have some cream, I have some balsamic vinegar measured out, I have peas, butter, and my shallot. I've sprayed my broiler pan with Pam I've pat dried my steaks. I have them all set ready to go. The oven is preheating to 450 degrees. I have my mandolin that I'm going to use for my potatoes. And for the garlic, unfortunately, we're going to have to chop it by hand because my grinder is not working. I've ordered a new one, but it will be a while. So, let's go ahead and get things started. We'll start out by cutting up the mushrooms, garlic, and the shallot. Mushrooms are the easiest. We are literally just going to set the, the knife against my top knuckle. And you know I like to break the stems out. I didn't do that at first, but I like to break these stems out of here. Some people eat them, I don't. There you go. Around like that. You don't want to cut them up too small, but you at least just cut them in half. So basically, cut it in half, spin it around, and cut it the other way. That's what I was saying. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms are absolutely my favorite, without a doubt side dish. For me, mushrooms are like bacon. It's one of those things I really, really, really like. There we go. Set those aside for the moment. Now the shallot. There's two ends to the shallot. There's the root and then there's the head end. I'm going to leave the head end and I'm just going to cut off the tail. The root and tail, that's what it is. So I cut off the tail, I'm leaving the root. Now I'm just going to cut in. Charlotte's not very big. Basically, just cut it up into pieces. There we go. Now let's do the garlic. Then I need my little Tupperware container to put them in and shake them to get the paper off them. Just like that, there comes the paper. And it's also if there's anything you don't like, you can just pitch that. here together. No need to do it separately. 
they're going the same place. All set on that. Let's do our potatoes. Move my cutting board just a little bit. Get things lined up right here. I put my leg right here like this. And then I take my potatoes, find the bad end on the potatoes, put the bad end up. Slide it a couple of times to get it lubed. Once you get started and lubed and everything it goes, some people might even spray this with a little vegetable or cooking oil. Look at how many I got. Looks really good. Let's take the baking sheet. Spray it with Pam. Potatoes, lay them out, okay folks here we go, let's put this pan in the oven for about 21 minutes. Then I have the steaks, let's put the steaks in an oven too. We can take and put them in that one, or we can put them in this one over here, which has a broiler. Let's do the broiler tonight. The steaks are cooking, and I just wanted to talk to you briefly about my preferences for steak sauce. So I have a couple of different kinds that I really like, which would be Worcestershire Shire sauce, as Bugs Bunny would say. And I have Heinz 57, especially on my pork chops. And then I also have A1, just in case company likes it. I don't know if Barb might like A1 sauce. She shakes her head. She likes everything I cook. She's so nice. And uh, I have a pan heating up here for the peas. And I'm just going to take my butter wraps, about half for each. So if you want, you can peel these or you can just drop them right in the water. So I have one and a half cups of water. And if you just take and throw the whole thing in with the paper like that, when it heats up, paper will float. That's how they do it in cooking school, I've been told. You know, I'm not a chef, I'm a cook, so I didn't go to cooking school, but that's what I heard. And then for my extra mushrooms, onions and garlic. I have the butter that has to melt. Steaks are cooking. You're going to cook them five to eight minutes per side. The potatoes you're cooking for about 21 minutes total on the baking sheet. Of course just warming up a can of peas is not too big a deal. I'm going to put these mushrooms in. I'm going to make a glaze with the balsamic vinegar and the cream. So we just have to wait for this to melt. Probably a good time to go take a look at the steaks. Go see what they look like. Go drool on it so I can smell them. How much time we got left? Looking good. Ultimately, I'm going to check them with a thermometer. You know, you can't eat those steaks unless they're over 145 degrees. And I know people do the finger pinch thing that you can check here, you can check here, you can check here, and the further down you go, the more it's cooked. Myself, personally, I've gotten sick before, and I prefer to use a thermometer. So, my particular number I like is at least 165. You'll be surprised at how hot those steaks are when you pull them out. One of them is kind of small and thick, and the other one is thin and wide. So we'll flip a coin to see which one Barb gets. 
I'll give her the best one, you know that. <laughs> the stuff is melting, our mushrooms, onions, and garlic. Start to saute these up. Move them around, let them swim, let them do the breast stroke, let them do the back stroke in the butter. And you know, mushrooms will absorb whatever moisture you give them. If you give them water, they'll suck up water. If you give them chicken or beef broth, that's what they're going to pull. So if you just put them in the butter, move them around like this, they're going to absorb that butter and they're going to get that butter flavor. And then once it gets going, get your olive oil. Get your olive oil in here. So you don't burn with that butter. Salt, once again, garlic, sea salt, pepper, cracked black pepper. Let them sit for a little bit. That's starting to melt. Wish you could smell this. <laughs> the house smells good. I live in a condo. I must be driving my neighbors nuts. With all the good smells. I'm sure a chef would use real peas and be pulling them off the stems. And of course, while I'm thinking of it, canned peas are going to be salty because they use salt as a preservative, don't add salt to the pan. You can put pepper in there if you want, but don't put salt in the pan. And I save these cans, I use them in the morning when I make eggs. I throw my eggshells in them, and then I throw them in the wastebasket. That way I don't drip egg juice across the kitchen floor. By the way, the ingredients and measurements for all of this, it's right down below on YouTube where it says more about the show. Click there. And if you want, you can also go to my website, which is jamestdds.blogspot.com. Also, too, while I'm thinking of it, right on the lower right-hand corner in YouTube, it says subscribe. Please click there. I'm on a drive to get 1,000 subscribers so I can become a Google partner. And also, there's a bell, so when I do drop a new video, you'll get notified. And I know you're going to want to see some of these videos that I have come up. I have some really good, quick meals, delicious, probably some stuff you hadn't thought of. I spent a lot of time researching these recipes, and then, of course, modifying them to the way I want it. Original. Let's put these in a bowl. They're starting to look delicious. Pepper. For a minute, check the potatoes. Potatoes look really good. This is what they look like. Let's check this out and see what temperature these things are. They are 167. There you go. Those are all done. We can go ahead and start to serve stuff up. Let's start out with a plate for the potatoes.
here is some peas. There we go. And then we're going to need to pull out these steaks. So just in case, I'm going to put both of these on. And here we go. I'll just grab them. It's easier just to bring it out here. This is like a marble top. It's not going to burn. If anything, it'll cool it off. Look at that, huh? Which one's better? One is short and stocky. The other one is wide and narrow. I think we'll use this one to show off. Look at that, huh? There you go. Potatoes, steak, peas, and mushrooms with onions, garlic, balsamic vinegar, and a cream. That's my show for the day. Thanks for watching. Goodbye for now.